Recently, I made a video introducing the installation of Shellxlr from scratch. I was going to make more demo videos for using Shellxlr. Then I realized why not making a parallel series for Olex2 at the same time. After all, they both are very popular small molecule single crystal structural refinement programs GUI. So I decided to make an installation guide for Olex2 first. I will continue to make more of the demo videos for both Shellxlr and Olex2 in the future. Please subscribe to follow. And I will provide some data sets for you guys to play with. So this tutorial will focus on the installation and a minimum settings for Olex2. For the installation guides of Shellxlr, please click the link below. Again, we will start from the very beginning. The downloading of the software. Type in Olex2 download. In your favorite web browser, click on this website. As every other free software, you need to register in order to be able to download. However, this software is truly free and really great. So it is really worth a few minutes of your time to register. After all, the author has put in so much time to develop it, and they only ask for the citation and the recognition as a return. I do think they really deserve every bit of them, and they have done a wonderful job in developing it and keeping up with updates frequently. So you click Register, type in the information to create an account. After registration, come here to sign in. Then click software on the top of the page. Then scroll down to find the version for your operating system. I use Windows, so I click this to download. Then click run. Then click yes. Click here, you can choose a different location to install. But you can definitely accept the default location. However, you need to know the exact location where you are going to install. So either write it down on a piece of paper or take a snapshot of this screen. I'm going to install to drive C for the purpose of this demo. So it goes to C, then make a new folder. Then rename it to demo one. Click OK. Here, I want to draw your attention to one important theme. This drop-down arrow. When you click here, you will see you have a few other options other than the default version you can install. It took me quite a while to find this. At one point, I was hoping I can install the alpha version, but I simply could not find it. Eventually, after a lot of digging here and there, I finally found it. You don't need to waste your time doing that anymore. Anyway, suppose I want to install the alpha version, so I just select it. By the way, the default choice is the most stable version, the most bug-free release. The beta version is still on the development, which is the least stable one. The alpha version just falls in between. I prefer alpha version because it has more new features compared to the formal version, but less bugs than the beta version. You can leave the rest of the option as default, then click Install, click Accept, click Run. You will see a sample structure in the screen. Looks beautiful, right? However, I have to say that the installation is not officially done yet. Let me explain to you what I mean. If you click Work, click the arrow by Solve, click the drop down arrow here, you will see you only have one option, which is Olex2.solve. Similarly, if you click the arrow by Refine, you also only have one option here. That is because Olex2.solve 
and olex 2refine are developed by the olex 2 team, so they come with the installation. However, although sometimes olex 2solve and olex 2refine can do a decent job, the mainstream refinement program is still Shellx L at this point, which is developed by another author. So I strongly suggest you to install the Shellx L external program, which is I'm going to show you next. Go to your web browser, type in Shellx L package downloader. Make sure you find this authentic website then click to get into the page as this program is developed by a different author so you need to register again but please don't complain these programs are truly fantastic and free what else can you ask for right you only need to register once click register academic user and you put in all the information and click submit. So after the registration, you click download. Scroll down to the bottom, click download the programs. Now you type in the username and password you just created. Then click OK. Then you come to this page. Again, you need to find the one which is appropriate for your own operating system. For me, it is Windows 10 64-bit. So you just click this one to download. Then again, you save first. Then you click run. Click this icon to make it up front. You can just uh, keep the default setting or you can uncheck any program as long as you know what you are doing, I strongly suggest you keep everything and they are small anyway. Then click next, then you choose a location to install. Note you need to remember this location for further settings. So either take a snapshot of the screen or write a note somewhere. Let me browse to the same location, then click OK. Make sure to remember this folder as we need to come back to this one later. Then click Install. Then click Close. Now we need to tell Olex2 where we installed the Shellx L program bundle. There are two ways to do it. One way is to put the installation path of the Shellx L program in the system path. For that, you can Google how to include a program in system path. Today, I want to show you the other way, which I think is much simpler. Just go to the folder of the Shellx L program, which is the program bundle we just installed, then select all, Control C to copy, then go to the installation folder of Olex2, then Control V to paste, then restart Olex2. You check again. You will see you have multiple options here available. Shell XT, DS. Similarly, for refine, you also have an uh, extra choice. You can choose Shell XT for solve program and choose Shell XL for the refine program. Bingo! One last note. The second step, which is the installation of the Shell XL package, only need to be done once. In future, when you install the updates for Olex2, you do not need to reinstall the Shellx L package. So now it's fully functional. Enjoy it. Good luck. Be sure to subscribe if you like my videos. You need to click the bell icon in order to get the notification whenever my next video comes out. Thank you for watching. See you next time.